Let's go outside to pitch some softballs, shoot some lacrosse balls, go to a camp for football, and hit some baseballs. It's all coming up. High School Sports Show America. We're going to get the championship this year, and this is the first step. Time to go to work. High School Sports Show America is brought to you by Power Bar, be great. And by America's Dairy Farmers and Milk Processors, got milk? Hello and welcome to High School Sports Show America, I'm Adam Stanko. Well, as you just saw, we have a terrific show for you. And what better way to start off the show than by introducing you to one of the top five softball teams in the entire country. They're from Florida and you will not believe how good they are. Florida has a rich tradition of fielding great prep softball talent. Last year, three of USA Today's national top 25 teams called Florida home. One, two, three, USA Today! This year, Countryside High in Clearwater is the favorite to win Florida's 5A state title. Success is nothing new for the Cougars. Even people with are very strong. So basically, when people leave, strong people come back in for us and take our places. Uh, we have been strong forever. I've been wanting to be a coach like you forever. Um, we just have really good feeder programs, you know, from the Little League to the travel ball team, both the girls on our team play year round. Yes, we've been blessed. This area has got some outstanding athletes. And, uh, you know, and from what we understand, there's some good ones coming up. So it looks like it's going to keep going for a number of years to come. 26 years of experience have left Coach Kitchen modest. Coach Kitchen's been here forever, so he's kind of grown with the program as well as he has. Of course, we come in with a lot of talent, but he just like takes all of our talent and puts us together and make, gets us working as a team. If they're not a solid ball player, the chance they're not going to make the team. And so uh, I'd like to take credit for it, but it's, it's not me. Kitchen's humility doesn't do the history of the program justice. The team hasn't had a losing record in 16 seasons. They've only lost 12 times in six years. As in many years past, Countryside has once again landed on the USA Today National Top 25 list. They are currently ranked number three in the country. Everyone knows who we are because we've been good for so many years, even before we got here. And it's just like, when you put it on, you know that you're, I don't know, you just know you're good when you play it on a countryside jersey. The intimidation factor, I mean, because they kind of sometimes hang their head before they even get on the field. And, you know, sometimes you get them beat before they even get out there. There have been so many winning seasons at Countryside, it's easy to understand all of the praise they've received. Despite all of the claim amazingly, Florida's ultimate prize has escaped the Cougars. Um, yeah, Countryside's always had a good program. Um, you know, always ranked and whatever, just a couple unfortunate losses, you know. Last year we were rolling along pretty well and then uh, I'll take this one loss at the wrong time and that, that's what we had last year. So we've been reminding them that uh, you know, one game at a time and don't look ahead and we'll hopefully uh, we'll have a happy ending again. This year the team believes they have all the pieces to complete the puzzle and bring home the elusive Florida 5A state title. Our goal has always been getting to the state championship and winning it. Our senior year, winning the state championship, that would just be like the best feeling in the world. But, you know, we are a threat and hope to prove it this year. Well, good luck to Countryside. And you know, with all of their great players, I'm sure a couple of them could qualify to be on our very special team. It's the All Power Bar team. Two of Maryland's best land on this week's All Power Bar team. The first inductee is senior Richard Dorsey of Frederick Douglass High in Baltimore. The 6'8 center was given city all-star honors, led all scores in the all-star game, and was named game MVP. 
Averaging 20 points a game this season, he led his team to a 3A state title and was also named the 3A title game MVP. Joining Dorsey is All-American Travis Garrison. The center averaged 18 points and 13 rebounds for legendary DeMatha Catholic High School coach Morgan Wooten. Garrison will be staying near home for college next season. He is committed to the University of Maryland. Congratulations to Richard Dorsey and Travis Garrison, the two newest members of the South Atlantic Regional All Power Bar team. What are the Got Milk Sammy Awards? Find out when we return. You know, each week on High School Sports Show America, Got Milk honors some of the best student athletes across the country. Well, now they have what is called the Sammy Awards. And to find more about what they're about, just check this out. For nine months, high school athletes balance books and sports. They devote thousands of hours to improving their skills, learning to compete at the highest level for league, district, and state championships. We gotta come out here and represent, all right? <laughs> Equally important, they maintain good grades, never forgetting that colleges only want top athletes who also score high in the classroom. For the fifth consecutive year, America's dairy farmer and milk processors are honoring 25 high school senior student athletes from throughout the United States as winners of the Sammy Awards. The winners will be picked based on their accomplishments in four categories, academic performance, athletic excellence, leadership, and local community service. A year ago, there were more than 9,000 nominees, and the final 25 winners are chosen by a panel of celebrity judges associated with the Got Milk campaign. What are you going to do next? We're going to Disney World! Each winner receives an opportunity to attend the Sammy 2002 weekend at Disney World in Orlando, a $7,500 college scholarship, and a milk mustache picture in USA Today and in national magazines. These awards are the milk producer's way of saluting the dedication and desire of America's high school athletes. Watch for the winners to be announced May 20th this year. And when we come back from break, we're going to meet two All-Americans who happen to be getting ready to start a game when we come back. To be great means to go all out, even when I'm the only one in the gym. It's having a dream and doing whatever it takes to make it come true. To be great means never to quit. Giving all I've got every time. It's believing in myself. Don't stop. Keep going. Power bar. Be great. They run out again?
every garden hose ends up in the same way, tangled, trampled, or torn. Hi, I'm Pat Murphy-Stark for the Invention Channel, here to show you a revolutionary new garden hose. Look, ordinary garden hoses are rigid and heavy. It's a job to store them. But watch this. Roll a hose lays completely flat, just like the hose from a fire truck. But when you turn on the faucet, the water flows freely. It's flexible, so it rolls up neatly, completely, compact, so it stores in any cabinet. Roll a hose is just $19.99. Other hoses are only 25 feet, but we give you 50 feet. You get the Roto Spray with four special settings free. And here's an even better deal. All of today's callers get Mighty Sweep, the water powered broom that sweeps away dirt and debris. Just pay shipping and handling. You get it all the double end 50 foot roller hose, the Roto Spray, and the Mighty Sweep. A $60 value, just $19.99. Call 1-800-615-3815 to order your roller hose with a 10-year guarantee for just $19.99. You'll also get the Mighty Sweet Free Plus shipping. Call 1-800-615-3815. Welcome back to High School Sports Show America. Well, as you can tell, there's a lacrosse game that's just about to start right behind me. It features the Ridley lacrosse team. You see, they're nationally ranked, and they're the best team in Pennsylvania. The reason why? Well, two of their best players, Brett Moyer and Bill McGlone, are all Americans. Quarterback Brett Moyer, receiver Bill McGlone, Ridley High School in southeastern Pennsylvania. These two seniors are all Americans, ranked among the best in the country, but not in football. Nope. While Brett and Bill teamed up for touchdowns in the fall, their all American honors were earned during the spring when they play what is called the fastest game on two feet. The top hand down on the stick. Don't walk through it. I'm Brett Moyer. I defend. I love going one-on-one -on -one with somebody, thinking that they're going to take me, and then bringing out a little surprise. I'm Bill McGlone, and I attack. I love just the fast pace of the game, you know, just uh, constantly moving and everything's on the fly. It's not really that much stopping. It's a lot like basketball. Defend and attack. Very few do it as convincingly as longtime Ridley friends Bill McGlone and Brett Moyer both honored nationally as All-Americans a year ago when they were juniors. We've been playing sports together since we were in like sixth grade, so uh, we know what each other can do and what they're gonna do. So it, it carried over a lot from football to uh, basketball to lacrosse because we played all three sports together. While some players can fire a ball up to 95 miles an hour, Bill McGlone dominates with more of a finesse game. His on the field knowledge unequaled. His reaction time quick as lightning. You kind of have a good sense of where you're at on the field, and then uh, you know you, it's just quick reactions that you just turn around and shoot real fast. The Ridley senior scored 50 goals a year ago and added nearly 30 assists. He will take his All-America skills to Maryland next season. I think the big thing is most of these schools are academic schools, so the kids have to do well in the classroom and do well in the lacrosse field. And if they can do both, they, they have some choices. Like Maglone. Brett Moyer's future includes major college lacrosse. He will combine athletics and academics at Hofstra. The academics is outstanding out there. My mom, dad, family, they always told me academics come first, sports come second. So that's how I'm going to take it. For Brett Moyer and Bill McGlone, their goals are steep, to repeat as state champions and to repeat as All-Americans. Together, they form one of the most successful combos in the history of the sport in Pennsylvania. And I go against him every day in uh, practice. We go at it every now and then. I'm sure he might beat me once or twice there, but... Who usually wins those battles? Yeah, I think I win most of it. Of course, I'm going to say me. For all Americans, Brett and Billy, lacrosse is boss. <laughs> This football camp is helping high school football players increase their speed and agility and get some exposure to big time colleges. Find out more when we return.
Welcome back to High School Sports Show America. Well, we're at a lacrosse game because it is the springtime, but still football is on the mind of many high school juniors. That's because for those who want to get recognized by the big time schools, there's one thing they think about, and that is football camp. It's just good for any kind of football player to have this experience. Give me some um, exposure, some publicity to some scouts. Nike football camps across the country, such as this one in Los Angeles, provide high school stars with a chance to maximize their athletic ability and increase their exposure to big name colleges. What the camp's designed to do is teach these kids about speed, agility, quickness, and then about certain position uh, skill elements that they can take home and become a better football player. Use this venue to meet new people, have fun, have a good time, and if you're good enough, you'll be discovered. You'll see some tremendous athletes in here. That, you know, out of, I don't know, the 500 kids that are here, there'll be 10 of them that'll go to the NFL, and that'll be it, you know, and, and, and that's the way the game goes, and they have to understand that and, and learn about what it takes to become a professional. With dreams of playing in college and in the NFL, the athletes improving their skills at the Nike camp now have an opportunity that didn't exist until recently. They didn't have these camps, so all these kids out here today is, is special and fortunate and got an advantage on us. I mean, we didn't, we didn't have these kind of camps. Um, as a, a junior or a, or a senior in high school, wanting to go to college and get to that next level is, is probably one of the most exciting times besides winning the Super Bowl for me in my life. Nike put this thing on as something that we didn't have when I was growing up in high school. And, you know, some schools that necessarily won't get a chance to see you play or have an opportunity to see the film, the footage, have an opportunity to, to get uh, results from the kids, to get a better look at them. The star of this particular camp was Whitney Lewis of St. Bonaventure High School in Ventura, California. Whitney's incredible 4-3-40 time and pass catching ability have him ranked among the nation's best prep wide receivers. Whitney Lewis uh, uh, certainly should be a candidate for MVP of this, of this camp. Uh, he's one of the premier athletes in, in the nation. This is where everyone comes to, you know, the best of the best. You know, that's what I want to be a part of, the best of the best. The high school football season doesn't start up again until the fall. But at Nike camps across America, scouts are taking notice of the talent of the future. And yet the exposure isn't even the most important thing these athletes will take home. We, we give the kids the opportunity to test. If they want to run and get benches and 40s and verticals, that's fine. If they want to scratch it, that's fine. It, this isn't about testing. It's about finding out where you are at this point and what you can do to be better, be a better athlete. Oh, Now we just saw a very special football camp, but there's also a very special baseball camp taking American players to a place you might be surprised at. Baseball in Puerto Rico isn't just a sport, it's a way of life. And a special camp is giving American ball players the opportunity to experience that passion firsthand. The idea of the program is to give the guys an idea of what it was like to grow up here in Puerto Rico. You know, uh, Juan Gonzalez and Bernie Williams and Edgar Martinez, uh, Roberto Alomar, these guys played on the same teams that we play, and they played on the same fields that we play on. Coming to a place where everything is baseball, it's such a better change, and like, you, get, you definitely get more into games, and you, like, you love playing the game more. I play great pass for baseball. It's, it's what I love to do. And, uh, I see it in these guys. Coast to Coast Athletics runs the Puerto Rican baseball camp, mixing individual skill lessons with nightly games in small village parks and huge pro stadiums. So these talented kids from across the U.S. test their skills against the island's best. It's once in a lifetime type of thing because you really don't understand how good they are and or how good you are. and. Um, you learn a lot about, about yourself and about how you play and how about how your game is. I like learning about how they care so much about the game. And I mean, just to see that somebody put in that much time to get someplace that they want to be is something that everybody should want to do. High schoolers from Oregon to Connecticut are selected through tryouts. And once they reach the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, they are introduced to people who speak a different language, but who share their love of baseball. After the games, we trade with them, and we they normally they cook us dinner, so we hang out with them, they eat, and we talk about stuff, and we show them all of our equipment because you know they don't have the money to go buy all that stuff. Not only does it provide uh, someone like my son who lives in a northern climate a little chance to get a jump on the baseball season in some nice warm weather, 
but also I think it's an excellent opportunity to play against some pretty good competition. Good Way to get the ball down. Way to get the ball down, big fella. Fantastic weather, newfound friendships, and playing great baseball. It all adds up to one unforgettable week. Traveling to small seaside towns and mountain villages uh, to play a game that everybody loves. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. One, two, three, USA! If you're a high school baseball player that would like more information on playing in college, you can get the College Baseball Recruiting Manual by contacting College Bound Sports at www.collegeboundsports.com or calling their toll-free number 800-376-5988. If you would like more information on the camp you just saw, contact Coast to Coast Athletics at www.coasttocoastathletics.com or calling them at 740-373-4455. Two hundred and fifty bucks. It's only a little scratch. Here is scratch. There is scratch. Everywhere a scratch, scratch, and they're all an eyesore. What you need is GS27 Scratch Remover. It gets rid of all those surface scratches quickly, easily, and without those expensive repair bills. Simply rub GS27 into the scratch, then polish it to a beautiful finish. The scratch is gone. I still can't believe it was that easy. GS27 got rid of those scratches in less than a minute. It's great. GS27 is not an abrasive. It's a super fine microscopic crystal light that works its way into the scratch and polishes it away. And look, you don't have to go crazy trying to match colors. That same tube of GS27 works wonders on any color car. You have to see it to believe it. Amazing. The repair shops that it had to sand, prime, and paint. What a bunch of bull. GS27 took that ugly scratch away in no time. Watch, would you do this to a brand new car? Ouch! But GS27 removes that ugly scratch quickly and easily. What a difference! GS27 is so effective, it'll even remove paint scrapes, ugly rust from chrome bumpers, and scratches and scrapes from your boat's gel coat. GS27 is only $9.95, but wait! Order now and get a second tube for only $5. That's two for just $14.95. Plus, as an extra bonus, we'll give you this key finder key ring, a $10 value free. Just whistle and the key ring beeps to tell you where it is. So order your GS27 scratch remover now. Call 1-800-287-4216 to order GS27 scratch remover now. Get one tube for $9.95 or double your order and receive two tubes for just $14.95. Call now or send check or money order to GS27 to Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut. Or call 1-800-287-4216. Welcome back to High School Sports Show America. You know, in some major polls, Chatsworth High in Southern California is the number one ranked team in the country. Well, they're also battling some teams from Florida and Texas, the usual triumvirate of top teams across the country. That's all part of what we teach. I mean, uh, being a team player, that, that's the first thing. And I think, you know, when we talk about winning, we put that first and we put the team first and then the individual second and, and I think that seems to, to work for us and work for our players. I think they believe in that and, and uh, trust that. Coach Meeson does a real jo uh, good job uh, preparing us every week and just keeping our egos uh, in our pockets and letting us play the game day by day. I love hanging out with these guys. We go out on the weekends, we have fun, we all sit together, we're pretty, we're all, we don't treat each other bad, we play around with each other but we love each other like brothers. That brotherly love has translated into a number one ranking in the nation by USA Today. You know, let's live up to expectations, play good. Let's try to stay there as long as we can. So, that's what we do every game. It's our first time, could be our last time in that position, but, uh, you know, we embrace it. We're not going to fear it. it. It's a great situation to be in, 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 in our opinion. And uh, shoot, it, it's something that these guys can remember for the rest of their life. I mean, that's a huge deal to be in the top 10, you know what I mean? To be even ranked in the top 25. And when they came out and told us we were going to be one, it was almost it's like worth all the hard work we put in the last three years. But what really matters is being number one in June. Exactly. I mean, when that paper came out, I was hoping it'd say June 5th. So, because that's the day, that's the day after the city championship. So, 
I mean, I hope we can keep this all the way through the season and win another championship. Some schools never reach the city finals at Dodger Stadium, and then there's Chatsworth. I've been fortunate enough to be there six times in, in 12 years, and we've lost three times and we've won three. So we know what it's like to get there and, and not be successful. We know what it's like to be there and win. And, uh, it's, it's, it's a great bus ride coming home when you do win. Winning is something pitcher Joe Guntz could tell you something about. By winning this game against Birmingham, this extraordinary Joe is now a perfect 31-0 for his career, too short of the state record. Go out there, throw strikes in my spots, don't try to overthrow, and then my defense do the work. I got part of one of the best defense behind me, and uh, pitching defense with ball games. And then we got our hitting, who's a lot better than, than it was last year, which is great. Joe's narrowed his college choices to New Mexico, St. Mary's, Hawaii, and Cal State Northridge. If Joe picks CSUN, he'll join his teammate, outfielder Jared Halpert. Uh, Coach Bates will see some program. I think uh, I'm gonna work well there. I, I like them. You know, it wasn't really a stay home. It was just the best place for me to go, and that was absolutely it. We just gotta come out every day, play hard. You know, don't. We gotta respect our opponents, whether you know they're 17 and one or two and ten. We gel good as a team. We play good baseball. As far as overall, we play good. We we win. We just win. Well, good luck to Chatsworth. That's it for today's show, but remember, if you need to get in touch, email me at adam at highschoolsportsnet.com. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. It's surely been a pleasure. Have a great week.